hi and welcome or welcome back today is going to be a little cozy just thought it would fit the fall vibes winter vibes and we're going to talk about some fall slash winter outfits plus how to actually build a wardrobe that you like because that's kind of exactly what i'm doing right now i'm trying to build a wardrobe that i actually like and these are just some tips that i have let me get comfortable here because we're gonna talk a little you can also grab your blankets make yourself comfortable we're gonna have a little chit chat i love watching these types of videos so i thought why not make one of my own with kind of my own sprinkle of my own style and i don't know i would love to help someone with this video you know if someone's like completely lost maybe i can give a little push in the right direction or maybe you get inspired oh and i will be showing examples this video is not just me talking that will be a little boring <sighs> so let's just start with the basics who would have thought the first thing which is very simple a long sleeve or a short sleeve black or white shirt which is it's so simple, I know. It's just important to have that basic in your closet. So just a black long sleeve shirt or a white short sleeve shirt or, you know, a white long sleeve one or a black short sleeve one. And it's a very simple thing that you can combine very easily. You can also build off of it. The second thing is a good pair of denim shorts just you know a good pair of jeans that really complement your body and just really fit you in the right places and that you feel comfortable in comfort is like the most important thing it can obviously vary from like straight fit high-waisted boot cut flared, whatever you like best and i would recommend to buy rather lighter wash jeans or like you know on the lighter side because in my personal experience they're easier to style or to combine with other pieces than dark wash denim so keep that in mind or don't you can do whatever you want next thing is or are tank tops or just tops in general all the basics i say i would recommend buying them in black and white or like a nude color except the jeans of course i mean if you have a few tank tops you basically have a full ass outfit you need to go out okay throw on your favorite jeans that we just talked about and throw on a little cute like black tank top maybe a jacket because this is a fall slash winter outfit video throw on some boots and then you're good to go some tops are always just good to keep in your closet also the famous black pants do i need to say more it goes with every style aesthetic whatever you can style them like classy or like streetwear ish very very good basic and very comfortable get yourself a pair that is very comfortable it's so worth it it's gonna be your favorite go-to pants Also, what I think is very good, especially for this weather, a good neutral black and white zip up hoodie. It's the best. Oh, what I love is a very good oversized wide shirt, you know, a button up. You can, again, style it in just different ways just make it your own you can just take that piece and style it however you want your own personal aesthetic whatever but I, I i do think it's important to have one at least one in white and maybe one in black if you want to be a little crazy but a white one is always a very good piece to have And if we're already on kind of like the classier business kind of direction here, 
I don't have one, but I've seen many outfits with blazers and it just it just adds a little something, I don't know. When I see someone wearing a blazer with their outfit, it's just like, okay, now I'm motivated to go and start my own business. I personally don't have one, so I cannot show you outfits with it, but I think it's all over Pinterest, so it's easy to find if you want some more inspiration. Then moving on, a skirt, black skirt. That's all I'm saying. I don't eat technically not very a winter piece i mean at least where i live but for like fall and of summer kind of or like fall but like the warm days of fall if you know what i mean because there are some i just feel like it's good to have at least one skirt in your closet the classic black mini dress I love looking at black mini dresses online. Did I ever order one for myself? No. But anyways, again, so many possibilities with a simple black dress. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. You can create like kind of an everyday outfit, but then in the evening when you're like, oh, hey, let's go to the club. You can just wear that same black dress and go to the club, you know? amazing for shoes or like boots i would say basics or of course the classic black maybe leather boots i i personally prefer the look of leather but you can go for whatever black boot you like is there a better season to wear a black boot than fall season Again, you cannot go wrong with that. Maybe some black high heels, just maybe. I can imagine it with like some long jeans that go past your ankles and then wearing heels to that to go kind of for like the model of duty look. I've seen it a couple of times on Pinterest and TikTok and stuff and I, I love it. For the last thing from the basics, which is not really one piece, but I would say by jewelry 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 just to kind of wrap up your whole outfit you know it's like the bow on your present it just brings the whole outfit together and adds like balance and harmony and i don't know why i'm choosing these words but it's just what comes to my mind yeah just like a good ring set or like layering or necklaces or you know earrings whether they're big or small and as i said i would recommend buying everything in black and white or neutral colors nude colors whatever just to be able to combine them in different options with different pieces together you know so you don't only have like one good outfit but like 20 clothing pieces and you see after you have all those basics you can start looking for statement pieces and adding them to your wardrobe moving on to important staples for me this is very personal at this point it's just my wish list okay <laughs> let's start with my favorite a good denim jacket and i mean like the 80s 90s one which is like you know kind of oversized kind of like the urban outfitter style the one that you saw all over tumblr back then that's exactly the jacket that i mean if i ever saw that in a store just take it and also not just a denim jacket but also other denim stuff i really like the look of denim right now like for example i saw a denim corset and i fell in love and also a denim skirt going back to the jacket i also really like leather jackets and i'm talking about the oversized one that are like poofy and brown or maybe black if you find one i would sell my soul for it yes also if we're already talking about jackets i really love the kind of windbreaker jackets you know that the ones that have that specific fabric yeah i really like the look of those and it's also very good for fall weather and as übergangsjacke so definitely will buy one of those oh the next thing is just any kind of jeans denim pants i just 
just give it to me because I just want to have every kind of jeans in my closet. Do I have the money? No, but that's another story, okay? Just leave me alone. And also cargo pants. I know they're like trending right now. I really like the look of them, especially when they're like really baggy, like mm, they look amazing in my opinion. Maybe even parachute pants or like the trash bag type of pants. Sometimes they're cargo, like the two things are combined. So it's like parachute and cargo style. Those are also going off. They are taking over my Pinterest. And again, pants. I saw one girl wearing like leather pants since then. I kind of fell in love with them and I will buy them. I asked her where she got them so that I can buy them because those pants looked amazing on her and i'm just praying that they will also look good on me if not i will cry also a trend kind of but it's been a trend for a long time any type of knitwear or crochet especially when you can do it yourself like talented and stylish go off okay can't relate though but go off i really like the look of like the cropped crochet sweater with like the big holes in it and it's just like completely see-through but it's just about the layering obsessed really and i am about to buy one so i'm happy i know we're talking about fall and winter stuff right now but like skirts but hear me out Hear me out, long skirts. What I also really love, and I think it's also kind of a it should be basic, but I wasn't sure if it's like officially a basic. So I just put it like in this category, whatever. Oversized sweaters, hoodies, and oversized graphic tees. You can't tell me that if you put together an outfit with one of those, that it's gonna look bad. Show me one person. I will wait. And I just feel like you cannot have enough graphic tees. And I'm saying this because I don't have enough. I have two. And one of them is, is my boy. So I actually only own one. Anyways. High boots. Even like to the knee. But I think think they are very uncomfortable so like between like your ankles and your knees like that halfway through i think that's good and i really want to buy a pair for this winter because i already have normal black boots and i obviously have sneakers so now it's time to get something extra you know i actually didn't realize how many things i wrote down until now until i have to talk through every single point continuing with shoes or like footwear i think some type of sneakers are always good especially for fall when it's not too rainy just some classic vans or converse i really want to buy those new balance shoes the white ones or the gray ones i don't know if they're like the same but like the white-ish grayish ones i think those are like amazing but they will get dirty probably they will get dirty really fast <sighs> and also any kind of like platform shoes or like platform boots i'm here for it i'm too tall to wear them but i'm here for it just looking at them it's good enough for me <sighs> See, I wrote down sunglasses, but now I realize, do we need sunglasses right now? Like, for the vibes, for the looks, for the fit, of course. But other than that, they're just gonna be useless. Alright, let's move on to creating a color palette. Because this is one thing that helped me kind of with buying new stuff, buying new clothes. I cannot always just buy black and white clothing. I mean, if it's your vibe, go off. Like, there's this one girl that always has like black and white outfits that looks amazing. But I didn't want to only wear black and white or 
black or white i was kind of thinking about okay what colors do i like and what colors do actually look good on me then i went on pinterest i typed in color palette or like different color palettes and just saved a bunch of them so that i always have like kind of a reference to the colors that i should buy and you can also take your skin tone as a reference what colors match your skin tone you can easily google that there are plenty of videos that explain like your undertone and like other stuff i am gonna be honest i did watch a couple of those videos but i just i never understood what kind of colors i should wear according to them so you can just do what i did and just collect all the colors that you already know that look good on you like for me it was kind of blues kind of greens kind of grays yellow doesn't look good on me red doesn't look good on me brown doesn't look good on me you won't look good in every color i mean if you if you do that's good for you but i don't so i had to i had to be extra you can also go by like the color palette of your dream aesthetic if you see that it has a lot of earth tones or like new tones then you can just totally go and buy that and you can also shop by season a lot of people love to wear brighter colors in summer or like more muted down colors or like orange brownish colors in fall wait what's for winter i think it's like more like blackish or is it red because of christmas okay i actually don't know my next point is dressing for your body type which is kind of like dressing for your skin tone mm, there are also like those kind of videos that will explain to you like if you have this certain body type then these clothes are gonna look good on you or whatever but what i mean for dressing for your body type is wearing whatever you feel comfortable in whatever makes you look your best for example not everyone looks good in low-rise jeans or low-rise pants but also not everyone will look good in high-rise or like high-waisted pants and jeans so you have to kind of experiment with clothes that's why i always like to try them on before i buy them so that i can like also kind of learn about what looks good on me and what doesn't like what kind of cut looks good on me with tops or shirts what length looks good on my body what looks weird there's always going to be like a certain experimenting playing around with the clothes you just have to kind of learn with time now continuing with finding inspiration pinterest it's it's all about pinterest like forget instagram tiktok pinterest word where it's at okay you can make like the best boards and you can save everything you can organize it by whatever you want to i think it's just the best app for it instagram maybe i mean you can also save things but i don't know with pinterest you get recommended other outfits that look like the one that you're looking at and also don't be afraid to copy someone else's outfit and by that i don't mean be obsessed with them and buy every single thing that they own and post the same pictures that they post like no that's not what i mean it's all about inspiration and if you get inspired by a look or just one piece out of the outfit just go look it up and buy it for yourself and look as good in it as the other person did because that's what it's all about okay my <laughs> camera is kind of dying which is understandable let's talk this through the fast way i would recommend experimenting with layering i think it looks really good i love every single outfit that is layered you can go from this to even this like you can start wherever you want wherever you feel comfortable with and my advice is don't jump on trends i know i mentioned a few pieces that are like trending at the moment but like don't buy something just because you saw it in like two tiktoks because it's not worth it if you're not gonna like it in a week if you have one piece that you really want to buy think about it for a long time wait a month and if you still want to buy it then go for it but 
don't just impulsively buy something because you liked it in that one TikTok. Trends in general, just take them with a grain of salt. Like you can get inspired by them, but you don't really have to follow them. And also just in general, let's not buy fast fashion. I think everyone knows that at this point. Don't run to Shein, Fashion Nova, Zara. If you're investing in something that you will want to wear for a very long time. And in the end, just don't feel bad if your outfits don't look good as the ones that are online because you have to remember that the people online are always posing or like presenting the clothes in a certain way to look good in a picture like you're not posing for a camera like they are just don't feel bad if something doesn't look as good on you as it looks on an instagram model and i have a quote to end this video i feel like in school like at the end of a presentation and it's that you don't need new clothes you just need to look at your clothes differently so yeah that was it i hope you kind of enjoyed i hope i could help you out in some kind of way and yeah just thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.